New technology is revolutionizing the future of green energy and the UAE is at the forefront of this drive. That's the topic of today's edition of Inside AB. I'm Jeremy Lawrence and I'm joined here in the studio by Bern de Boosmond. Okay, Bernd, uh, Mazda, Abu Dhabi's green energy giant, has been doing a lot of work in renewable energies, particularly in the North Sea. And there's some news came to light this last week or so about the work they're doing. Yeah, well, they, they have projects all over the world and here in the UAE, but I think one of their most interesting projects is called High Wind. Essentially what it is, these five massive wind turbines in the North Sea, about 25 miles, uh, kilometers rather, off the coast of Scotland. Um, and that powers about 6,600 homes and displaces 63,000 tons of carbon dioxide wow. uh, annually. So it's, it's a very significant project. And it's also probably, um, in terms of high tech, it's probably the most high tech of all their, all their projects around the world. Okay, and we had the Mazda CEO writing a piece in Raven Business about this project and how, how much it's contributing to the UK. We, we did. Um, and you know, one thing that, that came out of that I, is... Uh, the key to making this work isn't necessarily the wind turbine or solar panels uh, in terms of renewable energy. It's the storage capacity. Mm. Uh, because if you can't store that energy and use it later on, then it's it's, rather, it's useless, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so what what he said was that you know, that's what they're working on now. And recently, just on June 27th, they launched something called Batwind, which is the world's first battery storage solution connected directly to the wind farm. Um, and it, it, when you look at the numbers, it's very impressive. It has the capacity of 1.2 megawatt hours, which in layman's terms would be 1.3 million fully charged iPhones. Okay. Uh, so that, that's the sort of thing that needs to happen for this to be successful. Right. Overall. So it's quite exciting. Um, Mazda CEO was certainly excited about it. What does it mean for other projects around the world? Well, w what Mr. al Ramahi said that this is kind of a test case in, in terms of the technology because it, besides the storage capacity and the actual wind farm, uh, it, it's really an exercise in data collection, for example. Uh, in, in this case, in the North Sea, it automatically analyzes algorithms that say, you know, when to release energy at the optimal time right. and not waste it. Um, also, that's really important when you're releasing it in terms of the market. Mm. Um, so, so this is kind of a, a uh, I suppose, use case that can be replicated elsewhere. Interesting. I hadn't thought about that, to timing it for the market. Of course, yeah. I mean, because, I mean, the you can't store it forever, so, but you can't also just release it all at once, can yeah. you? So it's... Yeah. Great. So what does this mean for the UK, this kind of technology? Sorry, not the UK, the UAE, because, you know, this will all feed back into what we do here. Well, actually, for, both for the UK and the UAE, um, you know, re recently there was one day last month where renewable energies became the UK's greatest source of power for the first time. Mm, um, I read that solar, wasn't it? Yeah. So, so I mean, this is a reality, you know, not just in the UAE and, but also in Europe and in the states, this is becoming more and more important. But in the UAE's case, uh, you know, their goal is that they want renewable energy to make up fifty percent of the energy mix by by twenty fifty. Um, that'll save the UAE seven hundred billion dirhams. So it's you know economically wow. very important that this happens and very be beneficial to the UAE. And besides that, I mean, the more renewable energy that exists, it also creates jobs. In 2017 alone, 500,000 new jobs were created uh, through renewables in, in the UAE. Right. Statistics. So that's quite significant. And of course, it means you can sell oil or oil until you use it yourself. Of course, yeah. So right. it's, um, yeah, it's a reality now, I think. Okay, so... Those, uh, those projects happening in Scotland off, in offshore could uh, have big benefits over, over here. They can, and, and really anywhere, I suppose. Great. All right, well, thank you, Burns. You've been watching Inside AB. Uh, fascinating uh, green technology, new technology. It's really going to change things around here. So please do join us every weekday at 10 a.m. Subscribe, comment, share, and we'll see you next time. Bye.